Hello, VizzyHow.com. Today I'm going to talk to you about radon. Radon gas uh, is a silent killer and um, I had a problem in my house that I want to talk to you about and how I solved it by installing a fan to pull the air out of my all the, the radon gas that was in my sump pump system to pull it out and uh, pump it outside. And I did that all for uh, less than $300. So I want to tell you how to do it. Um, the first thing I did was buy this radon gas detector. Uh, you can see here the model and what and so on and so forth. Now I've just reset it so that there's no reading on it right now. But um, this morning it was reading 1.0. Uh, before I installed the fan and so on, uh, it was reading uh, 2.0 which is the equivalent, I uh, went online, that's the equivalent of smoking uh, two or three cigarettes a day. Uh, and I don't smoke, no one in my family smokes, so we really didn't want that. Um, so we decided to do something about it. So first thing you need to do is get a radon detector, order it online and plug it in. It takes about uh, two days to get a reading and a seven day average is the long term on this one and I think a two day average is the short term. So you need at least two days to even get a readout. But after you get a readout, then you can get an idea of where you're at and if you need to do something about it. If you're watching this video, you may have already done that. You want to move on and, say, and see now just how do I fix this problem. Here is my radon sump pump fan mitigation system I have installed. I'll take a quick view of the entire thing. Here's the actual fan itself and it is pumping air up and out of the house. So let me start by going to the sump pump hole. Here you're going to need to somehow seal the top of your sump pump. I have elected to make a sump pump lid out of plywood. It's uh, a little bit homemade-ish, but it works great. You can, for about $20, you can also buy a plastic one. However, the plastic one did not fit our hole just perfectly, and so uh, I elected not to use it and create my own. Um, now, what I've done here is I have sealed the back half. I don't know if you can notice this, but we've cut this in half so that I can get access to the pump should I need to replace my sump pump. Um, but look here, you can see silicon uh, all along here, so I've sealed it really well. And you might be thinking, oh my goodness, how am I going to replace my sump pump? Well, this coupling here, you can see I have silicon in the coupling, but not the actual pipe. So, and I've done the same thing below, uh, so that, and I'll show you that. Just open this up. So, if I want to get access to my sump pump, I just pull on this. Open it up, and you can see I have full access to my sump pump to replace it, repair it, whatever I need. And here's what I wanted to show you. Underneath, I have the same coupling, and so I simply need to undo that coupling to pull the pump out. The only thing that I'm going to have trouble with, and I would recommend you do this slightly differently than me, is I have a problem here with uh, the cords, electrical cords, coming through uh, if I have to replace my pump, I'm going to need to cut the silicon out to get these out and that's going to be a problem. And if I were to do this again, I would have put this notch here over right here at the edge so I could easily get to it with, get to right at the edge here, sorry, is where I put it. So I could easily cut it out, with, cut the silicon out. You do need to form a seal and so uh, perhaps another way to do it would be to just stuff foam in there. Uh, and not silicon it in, uh, so that's another option. But that was probably the only tricky thing that I'm not sure if I did perfectly. Uh, anyway, so that's the uh, that's the system down down there, and um, you can see that this pipe is siliconed in. I don't think I'll ever need to do to get take this out, but if I did, I have a coupling up here, and I can easily undo this coupling and pull out. Uh, the whole unit if I needed to, but again, I've designed this in such a way that I can replace my sump pump without taking that second half circle out. Now, up here where I've installed the pump, 
As you can see, I've applied a reducer from, I had, this fan comes with a four inch I put, and I've reduced it to three inches. Probably not too wise, but it seems to be working great. Uh, the manual said I could do down to three inches, so I took it up on, took them up on that offer. Uh, the weight needs to be supported because this fan is not that light. It's not too heavy, but I mean, it needs to be supported. So I've used uh, normal ceiling jet joist fans, uh, sorry, uh, straps, uh, that you can get your local hardware store. And, uh, and then with the air going outside, I have uh, took the pipe right to the edge of a grate. You can see on the other side here that I have a grate just like this on this side here. And there you go, you can see what I've done here. I don't know if you can notice it, but I used foam to stuff around it so air doesn't come back in. Also, please note that there is a grate there and I've stuffed up right against the grate. If you go right outside the house with your pipe, which is probably recommended, uh, but in my case, I didn't really need it. But if you do, be sure to put some kind of a grater cover on it so mice don't try to come up that nice warm airflow. Um, so far, I have gotten uh, reduced my radon levels from two down to one, and I measured it right away after installing it, which means there's still residual radon left in the house. So I'm expecting my next measurement to be even better with this. Uh, the other thing I wanted to tell you about is I don't have this when this is sealed up I don't have any hole in the top here the commercial ones that you buy come with a hole in the top a little wee hole maybe the size of the head of this screw just so air can get through should so in case you seal it too tightly I don't know if I've got some leaks or whatnot so I elected not to put that in right away but I'm going to drill a hole later and then retest my radon levels and if possible, let it run with a hole. That'll let this, this motor run uh, without being under too much stress because I'm afraid that, uh, that the pressure that it's operating under will put a lot of stress on the, on the motor. So, um, so anyway, those are the little things that you, you have to look at fine tuning later. Uh, just make sure that if you can have a hole in the lid and let some air get through uh, so that this pump isn't working too hard it could be that's not even a problem but uh, that's just the minor details but so far this has been working really great i hope you do well with your project and uh, happy uh, radon reducing